Hello, everybody, and welcome aboard the Starship Dragon. I am Commander Krim. Glad to have you here on this Friday afternoon, Friday evening. I forgot my bottle of water. Let me go grab that real fast. One second. <laughs> Coming back, chat. Coming back. Hello, hello. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I forgot my water bottle. Hello, everybody. Glad to have you here, as I said. Um, as you can see by this lovely um, montage or you know, collage of people behind me, we are going old school. It is the seventh month of the year, so what, what better time to play Final Fantasy Seven. This is a run I've been wanting to do for a little while, something I thought I heard of once, and I thought it was uh, pretty interesting. Actually, I heard it from a different, I uh, heard about it regarding a different game, but it had uh, it had uh, appeal uh, to me for this game. Um, <clears throat> so we are going to uh, uh, we're going to do a what's called what I call a live off the land run of OG Final Fantasy 7. And you might ask, well, what, what does that mean? What does live off the land challenge mean? Well, uh, I say challenge. It's not really a challenge. It's not going to be that difficult, but it's just a unique way to play the game. Uh, what the live off the land run consists of is, li is you go, uh, I'm not allowed to use shops ever. So Gil is going to be completely pointless for the vast majority of the game. Um... For more information about it, you can do uh, exclamation FF7 in the chat to get the... Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm just so excited to play. I can't, uh, I can't word. Um, it is a... Uh, uh, exc exclamation FF7 will give you all the details. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I'll give you the rundown. As soon as I get a swallow of water here. <coughs> uh, so what the Live Off the Land challenge is... Or, again, I keep saying challenge not a challenge uh live off the land run is uh literally not using any shops ever so any items any gear um materia any of the above uh anything that i can get i'm only allowed to use that i get from uh outside of shops so thing items that i can steal Mater uh, materia, uh, like I said, materia, gear, items, etc. I can steal them. Uh, drops off of enemies that I've defeated. Uh, morphs, once I get the morph materia. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, chests or other, like, you know, just you know, items that are just you know, around in the field that you can just walk up to and pick up. Um, you know, those are the items I'm allowed to use, equip, etc. Um... I'm not allowed to use a shop ever, which is, like I said, not necessarily really difficult because shops aren't that critical. They do supply some pretty good stuff at certain times, but um, it's not really, that's why I don't really want to call it a live off the land challenge because it's not really going to be challenging. It's just going to be a unique way to play. Hello, Darth. Welcome in. How you doing? Happy uh, Happy Friday. Hope you got a good, uh, fun plan, uh, fun weekend in plan. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Fun weekend planned in store for yourself. Um, but uh, yeah, we are doing the live off the land run of Final Fantasy VII. The reason I chose now to do it is because this is July, the seventh month, and I thought, you know what? I think I want to make this kind of a a common theme every year. Sometime during the seventh month of the year, I should play Final Fantasy VII. Seven is easily one of my, you know, easily top ten, top five games that I enjoy, and I love the idea of doing challenge runs. Um, you know, not necessarily speed runs, but unique ways to play the game. Uh, I do want to try to do the PC version again at some point because I'm playing this one today on the PS5. Um, but return to the PC version and do some some modded versions, uh, some modded runs with some uh, things. So you know, at least it's not we're not just going to be playing the exact same game every time every year. There are going to be some differences. 
Um, I've already done a No Materia Challenge run, Darth. Yesterday was Mom's birthday, so we have leftovers still. Nice. Happy birthday to Mrs. Darth Killer. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I've already done a No Materia run, a No Materia Challenge run. That was, uh, that was interesting. It was certainly interesting. Um, but yeah, this one is not really going to be so much of a challenge, more than it's just going to be a unique way to play, because it's not really that difficult. It's just, uh, I mean, the difficulty level does go up a little bit because you have to literally live off the land. You can't go to a shop and restock on anything. You have to do. You have to get everything from the field or whatever, right? So it is going to be slightly more difficult than a default run. But yeah. So without any further ado, suggest volume. There, we'll see how that goes. And let's play Final Fantasy VII, a uh, live off the land run. I've got some details, like I said, if you want to know a little bit more about it, exclamation FF7 will uh, give you uh, the details about it. Challenge to spice things up anyway. Yeah, I mean, you know, challenge run, uh, you know, just a different way to play. You know, challenge usually to me would mean like something that makes the game more difficult, right? Like no, the no materia challenge, you know, run, playing a game without materia, that actually can be pretty challenging to do. Uh, a, a level one challenge run, which I will never do because I really have no interest in playing the entire game with only level one characters. Um, but I intend to do like different things in the future, things like, uh, like maybe a specific type of materia, like everybody is only allowed to use say yellow materia, uh, I one one challenge I'm really looking forward to doing is one uh, an enemy skill only challenge where you're only allowed to use the enemy skill materia and manipulate materia because some enemy skills some enemy skills you have to obtain by uh, manipulating the enemy because they only cast on themselves right so you know uh, that would be an interesting uh, type of challenge to do only only enemy skills so no items. No limit breaks, no nothing, literally only enemy skills. Um, one unique way to play I thought of was uh, what I called like the Mystic the mystic Run. I keep saying challenge, the Mystics Run, where each character is like given an element and they are only allowed to use materia of that element. So say Cloud is going to be lightning, lightning element. So he gets the lightning materia and, you know, he can pair it with uh, added, not added effect, but elemental if he wanted to. But, uh, you know, he only is allowed to use lightning attacks. Uh, Tifa only allowed to use fire attacks. Aerith only allowed to use ice attacks and so on. I just think it would be a, a unique way to play. Not every time that I play this will it be a challenge run so much as it will be just a unique way to, 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 to view, to play the game. And I don't intend just to do this with Final Fantasy VII. I would like to do something similar for Final Fantasy VIII as well. Um, I want to do like a GF only run where I literally only use Guardian Forces throughout the entire game. Uh, so, yeah. What is this special movie? I don't even know what this is. Is this a Seven remake trailer? Long ago, we looked upon a foreboding sky. Yeah, this is that's the seven remake trailer. Okay, all right, new game. Here we go. Yes, I know how to play things. Sometime back, we even did a, a no encounters run where we used the uh, no encounters um, cheat, so to speak, of this game to play, which was a, which actually pretty interesting. It, essentially, it was just a very under level playthrough, but. It was uh, it was an interesting uh, run. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes. Playing without ever uh, using a single sh uh, shop, everything I get I have to get from the field. Level 11 class challenge for Final Fantasy One is the hardest one for early game, but great stats reward later. I think you've told me about that one before. You know, at least one red mage in the party keep everyone else KO because red mage doesn't improve stats upon becoming red sage. You can get experience without care. Hmm. 
And of course, I'll do my best attempt at voice acting, so either enjoy it or be embarrassed by it. Either way, I'll be doing it. <clears throat> but yeah, I, uh, I think from here on, on in every July, I want to play this because seventh month, Final Fantasy VII, and you know, I just I can't not play this. You know, it's just it's such a great game. It's it's been a major part of my life for. You know, ever since I played it the very first time, uh, way back in like 2000, um, watched my friend play it before that on when he got his first PlayStation One. Um, so yeah, it, it's it means a lot to me. It means a lot. Yeah, Juju kick, Ugh. and they died. Yeah, come on, newcomer, follow me. I pity the fool. That's my best attempt at a Barrett. All right, let's do thing. We we'll always do that first. Sound level should be fine. Let me know if you guys need a if you need an adjustment for it, but it should be good. Uh, ATB active, battle speed fast, field message fast, camera angle fixed, attack indirect restore, right? Attack restore indirect. Yeah, in one, you gain stats upon level up based on your class. You keep your current stats when you upgrade your class. It's your future stat growth that's affected. Yeah, I kind of remember how that worked. Alright. Get potions for both these guys. And we're right up here and taking our first encounter. Hang on, save our MP. Not that we really have to worry about it. We just whack these guys. Whack. Good, Good job. <laughs> that's gonna be. Hope that's not a a, uh, a prelude to the rest of this game. <laughs> First attack by Cloud, or just a clean whiff. <laughs> Let's hope that's not a sign. soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He wasn't soldier, Jesse, but he quit and was with us now. I didn't catch your name. Alright, we're going to give them unique names for this playthrough as well, so... We're going to just go... We're just going to reverse their names. Let's see. C-L-O-U-D. So... U... L-C. We're just gonna, like, just for something unique, we're gonna reverse the names. Cloud. Dulock. <laughs> Snoopy. Dulock. <laughs> I, I don't know why that sounds so funny. Dulock, eh? I am... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell y'all doing? I thought I told you never to move the group. Our target's the North Mako Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. I know who Snoopy is, Dark. I'm not. I, I'm old, remember? I'm 39. <laughs> Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. Also, because you white and spiky. Your name is Dulock. My name is... T... E... Uh... R... -R a B. Barrett. B A R E T. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ter Terab. Terab. <laughs> oh, it looks so weird I turned him around. <laughs> Where's the direction button? Well, yeah, okay, I get, I get it. Let's 
I was listening to uh, uh, Maximilian Dude play this uh, game, like his first playthrough way back in the day, and uh, started listening to the Final Fantasy VII with Shinna Bridge while I was at work, and, it kind of, and that kind of was part of the reason why it really made me want to play this game again. <laughs> and the sounds from the left-hand side of the screen, you hear nothing. I was afraid there might be a name difference due to localization in French. Snoopy is the name of the comics and titular character rather than Charlie Brown. Hmm. Alright, Tarab. Yo, this is your first time in a reactor? No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. Planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. I just do it. Alright, you come with me from now on. Alright, and Terab is now in the party. Uh, because of my weird OCD, I have to put him down here in the back row. Yeah, I don't think we have anything. Can't look at our material yet. Code deciphered. Code deciphered. We need to find every chest because we need every item we can get. We don't get to use shops this time, so we gotta get everything we can. Push that button over there. Hi, hey, John. Little by little, the reactors have drained out all the light. The that'll be that. It's not my problem. The planet's dying, Duloc! A Duoc? Duoc? Maybe the reverse name is a bad idea. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo cards come. I do that mod for Final Fantasy VII Part One. You just pissed off Tifa so bad by not pushing the door button. Yeah, the uh, it, that was the uh, mod for uh, um, uh, uh, Echo Echo S Seven. Yeah, the Echo S Seven mod. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, I also found out they're doing Echo S mods for 8 and 9, but they're still very early in development for those. So it'll probably be a good long while before we see uh, Echo S 8 and 9. Alright, just nothing really fancy to do here. We're just going to whack everything. Everything should be a one-hit kill for this first area because it's a tutorial area. Everybody's learning. Did that quest work on earlier Final Fantasies? Well, there it's not like it's a mod that's that's selectable. The people there are developed there are like modders that are reprogramming the uh, uh, the games to include the voice acting in it. Um, so it's not like it's a, a mod or a function or anything like that. Uh, I'm not. I don't think the uh, developers, uh, the modders, are making a uh, uh, Echo S for the earlier ones, though. I don't know. The uh, the developer that works on the, those doing those mods is named Suna Mods. T S U N A Mods. Uh, very popular modder for Final Fantasy. Um, I only know that he did 7, 8, 9, or he was part of 7, 8, 9. I don't know if he had uh, done any others. We got a sweeper here.
Normally I'd use Bolt to take out the uh, bot in the back, but we're going to save all our MP for uh, the Guard Scorpion. And by the way, this is a challenge run, so if anybody's worried about spoilers, that's okay. You actually noticed something I forgot to do was uh, remove the first playthrough tag, because uh, I guarantee you this is not a first playthrough. <laughs> Spoilers of Blonde in the team. That's right, there is. Spoiler, he uses materia. Spoiler, he wears a purple outfit. Spoiler, he uses a sword. Spoiler, he's got a he's got a black partner. Spoiler, he's a former soldier. Spoiler, it's like Final Fantasy XIII's intro. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really amazing how seven and thirteen's intro is so similar. You know, you're in in both seven and thirteen. You're a former soldier that uh, joins a guy that uses a gun for a weapon, and one of the first enemies you fight is a giant robot, and you're going into a futuristic city on a train. So it's just like, what? <laughs> it's like so many connections between one and two, between seven and thirteen. What do, you what do you thought 13 had been skipped? What do you mean? I need to get my hands on a copy of 16, too. I played the demo for it, so I want to... Just because I played the other Final Fantasies, I want to play it as well. I have to do, have to do bold. I thought it went from 12 to 12 part 2 to 14. There is no 12 part 2. 13 has th 13 is actually a trilogy. 13, 13, 2, and Lightning Returns. It's a trilogy. The only quote-unquote sequel to 12 is like a DS spinoff, I think. 13 includes Lightning, Saz, Vanille... Uh-oh. This is gonna hurt. I didn't, expect, I didn't expect the timing of the tail. Attack while its tail's up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. It wasn't even the right skill. I used ice. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Probably should have done it twice, though. Whoops. <laughs> ten does have two parts, yes. There is a ten and a ten two. The only the only game with actual sequels is ten uh, Final Fantasy ten and Final Fantasy thirteen. Ten and ten two, and then thirteen is thirteen, thirteen two, and Lightning Returns. go. Easy peasy. And we get our first gun for Barrett. There we go. I have plans for 16. Uh, like, other, you mean like to play it? I do want to. Do I have a time as to win? No, I have no idea. I still gotta get a, I gotta, still gotta get a copy first. Save here. Yep, 
Ben, why do you have so many saves? Because I like I like to rotate saves whenever I'm doing a special playthrough. I know I, I have played the demo, so I've uh, of 16, so I already know what to expect. Uh, it's very much a you know Devil May Cry ish Final Fantasy game, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't really ready for an RPG of that size. Uh, I guess also I welcome in. I just kind of wanted to play something else. Not that I disliked it, Kakarot or anything, I just didn't want to play it. I'll save it for another time. I thought I was going to do another fighting game. I didn't realize it was something different. And I found out it's like 30 hours long. So it's like, oh shit. <laughs> so we're going to hold off on that. I will go back to it. Don't misunderstand. I didn't, I didn't dislike it. It's fine. I think what I'm going to do when I play it again, though, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just, like, stick to the main story stuff. I'm not going to do a whole lot of side quests or exploring or anything. That's going to make it, like, even more ridiculously long. I'll probably go, I'll probably go back to Kakarot after I finish this. Because this isn't going to take me very long. <laughs> I know this game really well. Demo is nothing. I know the full story. It's what I refer to. Oh well, you know that's that, that's always up for you know consideration. It's either gonna I'm either gonna like it or dislike it. But as far as the gameplay, you know, I already know I'm gonna like that. I thought I thought it was pretty good. When it comes to Final Fantasy, you it the, the there's just one thing about the Final Fantasy franchise. That, excuse me. That's consistent. It's usually either really good, really bad, or just average. There's usually not a whole lot of other options, you know. Only two minutes for it blows up. I stopped having victory dance. Well, you know, you have ten minutes to get out of this place, and even if you did the entire game at walking speed, which would be like, I can't even like do that. Yeah, I can like sort of walk. You can play the entire part at this speed, you'll still get out easily, with five minutes to spare. It's not that long to get out of here. Even if you accidentally forget to get Jesse, and you gotta get here and then go back to get her, you're gonna have plenty of time. The only way you can actually lose and run out of time is if you do it on purpose. Truly. There's really no way to screw up that badly and spend ten minutes in this facility. And Jesse falls again. The thing of the role play. <laughs> Alright, we just beat a bunch of robots. Let's do a let's do a celebratory dance. Even though there's a timer where there's a potential bomb gonna blow up. That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. Dot dot dot. Okay, now everyone get back. And we survived this explosion. Ah, my ass! My ass! My poor, poor ass! Alright, well, let's get out of here. Rendezvous at the Sector 8 station. Split up and get on the train. Uh, hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. I'm back here! <laughs> and we're going to be an absolute dick to everybody here. This is going to be an absolute, this is going to be a, a true dick bag cloud run. He's going to be mean to everybody. Uh, you better get out of here. 
Really? I don't know what's going on. But all right. Even my waifu Tifa. Yes. I gotta be mean to her for this playthrough. Because I'm curious if I can get somebody different for a change. I almost always get Tifa. I should try to go for, like, Barrett or somebody. Or Barrett or Yuffie. <laughs> what I really... What I do want to do at some point is I want to do a platinum run of this game. Uh, now, it's going to be a little bit different than the unusual Twitch's platinum run because I've already obtained many of the uh, trophies for this game. Um, but there's some that, there, there's some I haven't gotten because I haven't done everything yet. Uh, so it would be like a semi-platinum run. I still want to get the platinum trophy because it'll be my first platinum that I've ever gotten. I don't, I don't have a platinum trophy in any game I've ever played. Um, so I figured this would be the first, best game to get the, my first one on because it means so much to me. But also, uh, you know, it's going to be a partial platinum. While I do get the platinum, I won't be getting all the trophies because in, in, in that particular run because I already have so many already. You want to date Sid? If I could choose one, I'd probably rather date Red 13. Hey, you there! I want all the, I want all the experience and all the items, so fight them. No, ch no shops allowed, all the experience and, and items. Gil doesn't matter. Literally doesn't matter. Gil only matters in, like, what? Where is a place where you actually have to have Gil in order to proceed? There's the Gold Saucer. Where else do you actually have to have Gil in order to proceed with the main plot? Is it really only the Gold Saucer? Sure, he's got the other things. Maybe it is it I'm really trying to think. It let's see, gold saucer. I really can't think of any other places where you actually have to have Gil in order to progress. Huh, that's something I never thought about before. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him! Bye, bitches! Woohoo! Duloc never came. Duo never came. Duo. Think he was killed? No way! Duo. Say, do you think Duolp's gonna stay and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? <laughs> Y'all weren't such screw ups. But hey, Tara, what about our money? Uh, nothing. Sorry. The train for your destination will be delayed by one hour. <laughs> ah. Guys, what's up? Duoke! Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right, you're late. Come walking in here making a big scene. It's no big scene, just what I always do. Fuck! Having everyone worried like that, don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Hmm, you were worried about me? What? That's coming out of your chair, hot shot. Wake up! We're moving out. Follow me. 
Hey, Duo, you were great back there. Heh <laughs> Duo, we'll do even better next time. Careful, I'll shut this. Oh, Duo, your face is pitch black. Rub, 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 rub. There you go. He talked about his face, but actually rubbed his rubbed his nipples. Say, thanks for helping me back at the back there at the reactor. <laughs> last train out of sector eight station. Last stop is sector seven train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is twelve twenty three a.m. Midcar standard time. So is Mako made of charcoal? <laughs> this is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. Huh? This is my house, so make yourself at home. You see the headlines of the Shinra Times? The terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums, blowing up a reactor. They sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. I love how when you ask, when you talk to him and he says that line about uh, the real calculating leader, Barrett looks over. He's like, oh. <laughs> I'm acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Please, don't bother the other passengers. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that'll change by tomorrow. Someday Avalanche is going to be famous, and me too. Hey, Duo, do you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I sure wish I could skip this shit. But there's no skip button! <laughs> That's not an actual question. Is it Darth? Do you not know this game? The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars built in each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. And there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. But each town used to oh, each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Look what's next, look! Is there a skip button in real life? Touche, Darth. Touche. This is the route the train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train and is linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Speak of the devil. That light means we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now. What a relief! Good thing, too, because that red flashing is really annoying. I'm seeing stars. This sucks. I hate the dark. I know. Next time I'll make one just for you. Thanks, anyway. Oh, yeah, you might regret it. I'm the type who takes things personal. Snore. Snore. Oh, that's a damn big tear. <laughs> Look, you can see the surface now. This city don't have no day or night. That plate work there, we can see the sky. Floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh. Never expected to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprises. The upper world. A city on a plate. It's because of that fucking pizza that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. And then why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? Dunno. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe. Because they love their land no matter how polluted it gets. Yeah, I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. 
It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except for its rails take it. Look at these high quality FMV videos for 1997. So funny, that guy in the front. Yo, get over here, all of you. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. Hard parts do come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Be back at the hideout. Move out. Alright, okay, nothing I can get here. We will drop a save here, though. I can't help but be amused by the fact that in this world of Gaia, there is apparently Texas. I mean, it says it right there, Texas. And there's a uh, uh, glowing neon sign inside that also says Texas. Okay, go on ahead. Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Duolk? Welcome home, Duolk. I hope it looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Terran? Uh, yeah. I should have known. He's always pushing people around. You've, gotten, been, you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. This is not Tifa. This is... A feat. <laughs> when she's mad, she throws a feet. <laughs> I'm so glad everyone's safe. Papa, welcome home. You all right, Tara? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting to meet you. Yo, Duo, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go thinking you so bad just because you was a soldier. Somehow, somehow Biggs is holding back Barrett while partially clipped within the table. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question, I answered it. That's all. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Wait, Duo. Feet, let him go. Looks like he still missed Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter.
Listen, Dork, I'm asking you. Please join us. Sorry, Afit. Platy is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Terab and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving? You're just going to walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend? Sorry. You forgot the promise, too. Promise? Well, you did forget. Remember, Duok? It was seven years ago. Look, the well. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. I thought you would you thought you would never come and I was getting a little cold. Sorry I'm late. about something? Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Seth Roth. Sephiroth? The Great Sephiroth? Sorry, did I do that wrong? Sephiroth! <laughs> Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come and save me, alright? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? Come on, promise me! Right, I promise. And the the shooting star sealed the sealed the promise. You remember now, don't you? Our promise. I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you gotta keep your promise. I don't know why Barrett climbed up the pipe and how he was able to do it with a gun arm. Wait a sec, big time soldier. A promise is a promise. Here. A team Terab stash, 1500 gil, which is completely useless to me. This is my pay. Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3000. What? It's okay, it's okay. We're really hurting for help, right? <laughs> that money's for Marlene's schooling. Two thousand. Thanks, Duolk. Well, Terab's snoring kept me up. Psst. Keep it down, they'll hear you. Terab's always edgy before an operation. I'm going this time. Our target's a Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Duo. Before our next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, I don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. You wouldn't understand. So this is what makes the guys and soldiers so great, huh? 
Okay, I'll have Jesse again later. But you're in charge of materia. Yay, we now have access to the materia. Jewel, we got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you, so don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. Alright, good luck. Yes, we're gonna put a four-year-old in charge of the bar. That's there's nothing possibly wrong with that at all. Okay. We can't go buy any materia, but we can get a few things from here. <laughs> like the fourth wall break here. What? Finger? What the hell? <laughs> Oh, I didn't want the dog. It's beginner's hall, yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, I don't think she's even gonna worry about there. Let me try to get everything. I'm gonna get this materia. Then he drops a chest on my foot. Ow! My chest, or my foot. My ether, alright. I got that all material, which is useful. I don't think I can get anything from any of these people. So now we have an all material. So, lightning all, which will be very good. Tifa can have restore, Barrett can be Iceman. Out of the way, kid. I don't think there was anything in here I could get. No, I'm spamming the OK button and nothing's coming out. Okay. here. Before we actually move on, we're going to go over to the train graveyard for just a short bit. Do just a little bit of grinding. Just get, uh, get Tifa up a few levels. Not much, just a little. And do a little bit of item grinding as well while we're here. It's really the levels that I want more than anything else. I at least want Tifa to be seven. Took a minute. Normally, the encounter rate in the in there is is uh, high. But I like having that bar up there. Uh, not that I need it. I just like knowing the enemies' names. Most of them I know just off the top of my head, but still like knowing the name by reading it. You spin me right. Okay. Jeez. 
she's now... Oh, she's still only five, okay. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, we'll go on. Well, we can do better grinding in the, uh, a on the actual train state on the, uh, in the train. Not in the train, the, uh... Once we jump off the train is what I'm trying to say. Yo! Ain't no private car, split up! Hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck? You say something? I said you say something? Now look at that. They got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn! It's a skippy because of guys like you! Yipes! You see the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shiver? I won't give up the violence or give you my seat either. Terrib! Fuck, you lucky shit. So, what are we gonna do now? Fuck, why the hell are you so calm? You busted up my rhythm. Looks like they just finished to get in the cars. We're finally leaving. So what's our next target? Huh, this is the most serious about this work. Alright, I tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. The ID scans is checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning, and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at the Sector 4 station is 11.45. That means we've got only three minutes to the ID checkpoint. Alright, in three minutes we're jumping off this train. Even though we have three minutes, I'm going to sit down and relax for these next three minutes. My ass needs every little moment of relaxation I can get. Duo, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Looks like you've seen this already. It's all right. Come a little closer. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. I can do that. That's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. Fuck, someone blew it. Unidentified passengers located in car number one, preparing for lockdown. Let's go, keep it up. Right, before we actually go out of here, we need to go back down here and talk to this guy. Yeah, I gotta talk quickly. Phoenix down, all right. Got one more item. Car right, number one, lockdown. Upgrading to level two, warning. Hurry, they're locking the door, sir. Just run! Identified passengers located in car number two. Preparing for lockdown. Changing to plan two. Do these people give you items? I think they do. Ah, shit. Let's talk to that guy before I got out. Car number two locked down. Upgraded to warning level three. Alright, you clear? Not yet. They're starting another check. We're caught. We're done for. But don't worry. If we're going to train car by car, we should get past it. Unidentified passengers moving to front of train. Currently tracking location. That's right. I need every bit that you get. I don't know what you actually stole, but... Car number four locked down, upgrading to maximum security alert. Going to continue blinding you with the annoying flashing lights because reasons. Ah, uh, uh, even I gotta blink. Alright, we've made it. Yo, this way. Let's go, we're gonna dive out of here. It's scary, huh? Wait for that now. Why did you come along anyway? 
Thank you, too. Ain't no time for that. Yeah, I've made up my mind. I'm gonna I watch closely. I'm gonna jump. Somehow we're still gonna all land in the same spot. You don't care if I go first? The leader always stays till the end. Don't worry about me. Just go. Ah, oh, my poor eyes. Yo, don't get your spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. Later, you take care of the rest. God, that is such pain in the eyes. Ugh. Good. So far, everything's going as planned. Right. Because you jumped off a train that you got caught on. Because that was part of the plan. What? You want your car down to get the Sector 5 reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for it, so move it! We're actually just down this tunnel. But we're gonna go this way first, because we're gonna level up to probably about... Get everybody to 10 from the uh, random battles that are down here in the uh, repeatable encounter. Guys that ca uh, take forever with a slow moving an animation to cast a slow moving attack that causes us to be slow, making the fight go even slower too. Gotta love them! Horses. Intruders! Oh no! Stay here. Didn't I? I can't check it yet. 
A little bit more. Let's at least get T for the eight. I think that'll be enough. One more fight. Uh, let it break. Go! They all get their turns into just make it even more slow. Oh, 
Alright. In we get in we get in we in Okay. Why if it was so difficult to do? One damn tiny hole! You telling me to squeeze into that gear to the plate? No way! Yo, do up, what are we gonna do? Go down. Damn man, that thing gives me chills. Somebody claustrophobic! A goodie! Ether. Get around here until we get uh, in the next part, the next uh, frame. Hell bubbles! Better kill yourself, Tifa. That's just clouds gonna take a nap. Four damage those things in the back. Did more damage to those little floating uh, fish things than it did to the uh, missile launcher in the front row. It's nuts. Need a single shot, which again won't be a big problem. So we have a tent up here, which we can really use. The hell happened to music? <laughs> there was no victory theme that time. <laughs> that was weird. There was no victory theme. <laughs> Luckily, they used the same architect for every uh, for every Mako uh, reactor. Facility. I really need to save here because we just saved a moment ago. Give me that six HP back. 
Hiya! She <laughs> takes that 6 HP right out of that little dog. <laughs> Severoth? Did Severoth do this to you? Severoth, soldier, Mako Reactor, Shinra! I hate them all! That's a much better line than, I'm just, I'm so sick of this! It just, it's... Uh, that is the that is one thing about Remake that I really despise. Remake and, and Rebirth. But, uh... Tifa says, I'm sick of this. You know, it just doesn't have the same impact as I hate them, I hate them all. You know, being sick of something is what your what your parents do, well, it's what your parents say when they're sick of your of your shit as a kid. Being sick of, of Sephiroth and Mako Reactors and Shinra, you know, that that doesn't have the same impact as I hate them all. Why they changed that particular line, I know it's very subtle, but still, it, it's just like. It's really lacking. Do they not want to use the word hate because hate is such a rough word, I guess? I don't know. It just makes no sense. <laughs> Barrett's blind and scored a crit hit. Not only did he actually score a hit, he scored a crit hit. Right the first time. Too early. Still too early. Damn it. There we go. There's sometimes I can get it first try, but not that time. Okay, good. We got a battle right before the save point, which is what I. Though, which I'm okay with. Save boss fight. Or pre save, uh, save pre, pre uh, boss time coming. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Horribly, but that's what I was trying to say. This way. Shit, we're soldiers. Shit, what the hell's going on? Trap. President Shinra? Why is the president here? Hmm, so you all must be... What was it? Avalanche. And don't you forget it. Dear President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. 
long time no see. Oh, yeah. You're the one who quit Soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd been exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what was your name? Do all. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Unless you became another Sephiroth. Ah, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth. I don't give a damn about none of that. This place gonna go for the big bang soon. Serves y'all right. In such a waste of good fireworks, just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinra the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that'd make you King Vermin. So shut up, chickass! You are beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I have made arrangements for a playmate for you. What's that noise? The hell is that? Neat Airbuster. A techno soldier. Our weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future experiments. Techno soldier. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, President! Yo, Duo, we gotta do something about him! Hell, Duo! This is from Soldier? No way, it's just a machine. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna bust him up! Boss time against Air Buster! Hey, BBs! Big Bomber! Big Shot! Damn, you're only 700 damage. Nice crit, Tifa. Big bomber! Tifa, limit break. Turn function not operational. My shit is broke. Attacking with big bomber. Ow, I have been beat rushed. Function error, error function. Big machine dead. Blarg. Titan Bengal, that's a really nice, that's a really nice find. Oh, shit! It's gonna blow! Let's go with, let's go with it! Damn, can't you do something? Not a damn thing! Duo, please don't die, you can't die! There's still so much I want to tell you! I know of it. Hey, you gonna be alright? I don't know if I can hold on! Look! Can't hold on much longer! Terrible! Hurry! Don't go crying like a woman! Ain't nothing I can do for you! You gotta do it on your own! Terrible! Okay, hold on! Oh, shit! And Cloud survives this! Or does he? Dun dun dun! You alright? Can you hear me?
Yeah. Back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. Uh, I'll try. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now. Little by little. Hello? Hello? I know. Hey, who are you? Hello? Hello? Uh, my spine. You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. I came crashing down? The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Flower bed? Is this yours? Uh, sorry about that. That's all right. The flowers here are quite resilient because it's a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar, but for some reason they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. So, we meet again. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember. You're the slum drunk. <laughs> Excuse me, but you're really rude. I don't remember a thing. Well, that's okay. Say, do you have any materia? Yes, yeah, some. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again. I have nothing to talk about. Oh, I see. Ah, I wonder whose fault that is. It's not easy to grow them, you know. Poor flowers. Just a little longer. Oh! Now that you mention it... We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... I don't know which one I should go with. <laughs> Let's see. Um, A E R I S. So. That looks weird. A E R I T H. Yeah, it looks weird. We'll go with Eris. A E R I S. A E R I S. A E R I S. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm Soraya, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. Name's Duo. Me? I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades. Yeah, I do whatever's needed. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? I'm sorry, I just. Duok, don't let it get to you. Say, Duok, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. 
Okay, then let's see. How about if I go out with you once? I don't know who you are, but... You don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, Shinra spy! Rina, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. The exit is back there. They were Mako eyes. Yeah, all right, come on, get to work. Oh. And don't step on the flowers. You just stepped on them yourself. They're ruined. You're going to catch holy hell. All right, let's set up Soraya or something. Uh, Titan Bengal. Lightning all. Um, she's going to need some attack powers. Let's give her ice. Let's also get... Oh, Terra, uh, uh, Terra Benefits uh, material was removed also. Okay, well, that's good. So we can put Restore on Cloud then. Lightning, all, Restore, and she has ice. So at least she can do some kind of attacking. Okay. There they are, over there. Duok, that one. I know. Looks like they aren't going to let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. <laughs> Surveya, this way! Alright, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. H is getting away! Attack, attack, attack! Surveya! Think we killed him? He never should have fought us. Do all help! Damn. What's that? Surveya, hold on a minute. I'm going to deliberately do the wrong one because, oh no, I am incompetent. Oh, do all! What are you doing? Probably should have put her in the back row. <laughs> wow, it's a clean miss. Alright, we're right here for a little experience. Limit break coming. Bold. Yeah. You all help. Hold on a minute. Push the barrel. Oh, Duo, what are you doing? Ah, ah. I don't know why I told her to attack. Wow, quick hit. Get 
all the items. All the items. Duro Kelp. Hold on a minute. I'll push this one. Surely this will hit him. Oh darn. Cloud is so incompetent. I'm sorry, Duolk is so incompetent. What a terrible hero he is. to be murdered. Brutal murder. Sierra, this way. Scaling is so weird. That's a huge hole compared to where they just were. <laughs> uh, they're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm. The Turks are a Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. It's violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. They look like it. But why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they ha believe what I have what it, they let. I think they believe I have what it takes to be a soldier. Maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know. I don't want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. Wait! Wait, I said. <sighs> Slow down. Don't leave me. Funny. I thought you were cut out to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Ha 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 ha. Hey, Duo, were you ever in soldier? I used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's the sign of those who've been infused with Mako, a mark of soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before they come. We can go back to the church, but there's no point. I don't think there's any items or anything that we can we can uh, pick up. So very little point. That's right. I forgot she starts in the back row. I didn't need to push air to the back row. She starts there. Shops, but we will come over here and we will get Turtles Paradise Newsletter number 01 
for delicious wine with a nice zing to it. Stop by the Turtle's Paradise. Glug, glug, no one will find it. No, top drawer and the bottom one. Open the hidden door between them. Five gill, leave it. Leave in the five gill. It'll be good for an item later. I can't miss those shops. Can't miss this shop. So let's just move on. What we can do is go up here, get ourselves a nice ether, and more importantly. The cover materia. Very good for learning limit breaks. And she can't, and she doesn't have space for it. So, do all will get it for now. I guess I could put the. She'll take the Titan Bangle. And that way she has cover and restore. 100 worker limit breaks up, so yeah. My, I'm home, Mom. This is Duo, my bodyguard. Uh, hold on, I gotta shift. Ugh. Bodyguard? You were followed again? Are you alright? You got hurt, are you? I'm alright. I had Duoke with me. Thank you, Duoke. Then what are you going to do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I want to go to Afit's bar. Is Afit a girl? Yeah. A girl friend? Girlfriend? Yeah, that's right. Oh, how nice. Well, that's... nice. Let's see, Sector 7? I'll show you the way. Why you got, you got to be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Oh, I don't know. Getting help from a girl. A girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by quietly after hear you say something like that? Mom, I'm taking Duo up to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. But dear, I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Surveya, please go make the bed. You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you'd better get some rest tonight. Duo. Good night. Oh, man. Seem pretty tired. Hmm? I haven't slept in a bed like this for a long time. Oh, yeah. Ever since then. My, how you've grown. I bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm all right. You should have... An older girlfriend, one that'll take care of you. I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. Must have fallen asleep. Sector 7 is past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Alright, well, let's see if I can get out of here without running. I don't know how to do that with the... Well, I guess I can just use the, the D-pad. Stay away from the door. Do not press the run button. And we're out. Nice. Can I go back upstairs? 
I think I can take care of it. Okay. I've never actually tried going back upstairs before. <laughs> How many times have I played this game and I've never done that? <laughs> Alright. Still can't buy any items because we're doing a no-buy items run. You're up bright and early. I couldn't ask you to go. I knew it would be dangerous. Are you done? You have to go through the slum in Sector 6 to get to a beat 7th Evan. I'll take you there. Come on. <sighs> Here I go. Alright, she is in our party again. Pretty sure her materia stayed equipped. Yeah, it did. Alright. Let's boogie. Hell House! The Hell House. You know what I really would like to see? I don't know if it'll ever happen. I would like to see somebody make a mod of this game using features from Remake and Rebirth. Like, you know, change the story of this game to where, you know, Remake and Rebirth have some, you know, we kind of like reenact the events of Remake and Rebirth in this game. At least in, in some ways. In the ways that this game is, is capable of doing so. I have a tournament somewhere in, uh, 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 in Wall Market where you fight the Hell House in, as the final tournament fight. Just like they had in Remake. item in here? I don't know if there is or not. There is not, apparently. Okay. And there we go. Sector 6 complete. <laughs> we've, we've gone through the uh, collapsed expressway. <laughs> the gate to Sector 7's in there. Thanks. I guess this is goodbye. You're going to be alright going home? Oh no! Whatever would I do? Is that what you want me to say? Take her home. Isn't that a little out of the way? Yeah, I guess so. Can we take a break? I can't believe it's still here. Duok, over here! rank were you? Rank? You know, in soldier. Oh, I was first class. It's the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend. Were you serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. If we discuss it now, it'll be ru it'll ruin plot points for later. Huh? Hey, back there. A feat? That girl in the cart was a feat? Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. Wait! I'll go on alone. You go home. <sighs> Welcome to Wall Market. A market with walls around it. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl, so we've got to find a feat fast. Alright, let's go up here. Uh, we can't 
get the battery? Oh yeah, we, we that was that's another uh, guild point. It's uh, 4300. We need batteries from uh, from the tank guy. So there's two points in the game where you need to spend gill. You have to spend gill. This is Don Corneo's mansion. He's a big shot here in Wall Market. Listen, the Don doesn't like men, so get the hell out of here. Uh, wait. Oh, right, we gotta talk to the, well, yeah, to this thing out of order. <laughs> it's been a little while since I played this game, isn't it? We gotta talk to the, uh, uh, Honey Bee Inn manager first. Damn, it's been so long, I actually forgot the order, I forgot the order of things. Dude, get out of the fucking way, stupid soldier. Ah! Welcome! Even unpopular dweebs like you may meet their destiny here. You're looking for a girlfriend too? You know, a girl named Defeat? Hey, you're pretty fast. Defeat's our newest girl. But unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. Here at the IWN, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Don Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo is a famous dilettante. Now he wants to settle down as in the market for a bride. Thanks. Now you're gonna let me in? Hey, you got a cute one with you. Hey, this looks like the Don's Mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell a feed about you. No, you can't. Why? Do you know what kind of place this is? Then what am I supposed to do? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that'd be pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it'll cause too much commotion. I just can't let you go in alone. Man. First, we need to find out if our feet's all right. That's so funny, Soraya. Cool. Why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. What? Just wait. I've got a cute friend I want to bring. Soraya, I, I can't. You are worried about teeth, a, a feet, aren't you? Then come on, hurry. Almost called her Tifa. <laughs> Force of habit. <laughs> All right, dress shop first. Excuse me, I'd like to get a dress. Um, it might take a little time. Will that be all right? What's the problem? Well, my father, the owner, has been in a slump lately. See, he makes all the dresses. And where is your father? He's probably plastered at the bar. So, you're saying we can't get a dress unless we do something about your father? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. He's caused so much trouble. You'd help me bring him back? Well, if we don't do something, we don't get a dress, right? Really? Please help my crazy old dad. I just don't know what to do anymore. All right, we'll do something. Let's go, Duolk. Mm, bar. Hey, are you? Excuse us, are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? Oh, the clothes shop. I ain't your father. I didn't say that. Make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes. I don't feel like making anything right now except a high BAC. Duo, will you wait over there for a second? I'll try and talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have something to drink? You know, mister, he always said just once he'd like to dress up like a girl. So well, that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? A tough looking guy like that? I may be slightly amoeb... amoeb... amoebiated... 
inebivated drunk, but I'm pretty sure a guy like that would not want to wear a dress. So how about it? Will you make him one? It might be interesting. I was here a little bored to just make a regular clubs. Which is why I started drinking. Because I ain't got nothing better to do. Uh, I don't have a wife to bang anymore. So I am thought about maybe drinking one of these bottles. Drinking all the alcohol down. And then using the bottle as my new wife. If you know what I mean. <laughs> you gonna do it for us? Yeah, alright. What kind of dress do you want? It feels clean and shiny. Hmm, got it. You know, I got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him once I find my feet and be able to stand up. But right now, I'm gonna stay sitting on my ass because the floor is a long way down. Oh, you're here. It's ready. Go try it on. Receive cotton dress. How do you put this on? Hey, whoa, what are you doing? It's not right. It's still not right. A wig. That's what you need. Um, I thought you might, so I talked to my friend about getting one. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. Like you? Soraya, what did you tell him? Doesn't matter. Anyhow, we got a pretty dress. Alright, I'm going to deliberately screw up this mini game. Hey, Jody, welcome in. How you doing? Happy Friday. Hope you got uh, good plans for the weekend. You the one who wants to be cute? Cute? Right. And about the wig. Yeah, I heard, but it'll cost ya. Erg! Big bro! The only way you're going to get cuter is if you can beat Big Bro. That's right. Huh. Now you've got to compete with us. You're right, let's do squats. Alright, we'll beat you out of this gym. Or we'll beat you off out of in this gym. One or the other. This place for number 20-ish. <laughs> Something like that. I've easily played this game probably, you know, without exaggeration, probably more than 30 times. Uh, probably even more than that. But, uh, yeah, doing a special run this time through. A special little, like, uh, way to play it. During, uh, as you can see by the title, Live Off the Land Run. Uh, what it is, is basically I just can't use any shops. Everything that I, I, I get, uh, items, materia, whatever, um... I have to get it all um, from the field. I can't use shops at all. I can't spend, I can go to a shop and buy things. So that means my, my options for uh, inventory is a little more limited. Going to the beach house tomorrow for my little boy's birthday? Nice. So, hey, little boy, congratulations. Uh, or not congratulations, but, well, sort of, but happy birthday. Weapons as well, yes. Weapons, armor, materia, items, um,. Any, any and all of the above can only be obtained through drops from enemies, uh, steals, morphs, uh, chests that I find, items that are just laying around, you know, whatever. That's all I can, uh, uh, that's, that's the only place I can get, uh, get gear or items, etc. Are you the beautiful bro? What, you didn't know? Always running around here saying big bro this, big bro that. Never mind that. Come over here. Like, totally come over here. Now, I'll explain the rules. Yeah, I don't care about this. I'm going to deliberately screw it up. Got it. Actually, I'm going to go pee while this goes. Don't need to practice. All right, here we go. Right back.
This is one of the all-time great games, though. It is. It is. One reason I decided to revisit this is because it's the seventh month of the year. It's July. So I figured, seventh month, Final Fantasy VII. Why the hell not? <laughs> Takes a long time to beat. Uh, I think, like, a casual playthrough, if you know where everything is, you, and you're just trying to do the, like the like I said, casual main story only, it's about 25 to 30 hours. Maybe 35 hours. Sorry, you lose. Since the old man from the clothing store asked me, I can't keep it from you, so... Oh, now, where did I put it? Alright, then. Stupid, what kind of place is that to hide it in? Ugh, bro's just a steel cut to the bone! Sorry, you should still be able to use it if you disinfect it first. Received key item, wig. All right. Oh, right here. I'm not gonna bother getting all the rest of the stuff because I don't care. Okay, right. We're gonna make this like a succinct playthrough. Not a speed run, of course, because I don't do those. But, uh, yeah. Usually a lot of potions in your games? I do. <clears throat> that's where, uh, that's where things like steel is going to come in real handy. Because, I mean, either way, I'm either going to need items to heal with, or I'm going to use potions to heal with, or I'm going to need ethers because I use up all my MP doing healing. And the reason I usually use items more than I use actual healing magic is unless I'm using a character that is specifically a, a like a white mage, like like Yuna, for example, in Final Fantasy X, uh, I tend to forget who has the ma who has the the healing magic. So I just know that if I need healing, whoever's the next one in line that get that I get the command bar for, I'm just going to grab an item and throw that down. It's just easier for me to do it that way than try to you know wait till I figure out whose turn has the the healing materia. Also, alternately, I usually have a healing material on everybody. Uh, so, if I need healing, whoever's turn it is, is going to be casting it. So, it's one way or the other, depending on how things go. This is going to be a little more uh, unique because, like I said, I don't have, I can't use shops. So, I'm already, I'm already skimp on material right now. I have ice, restore, and lightning, and a cover material. That's literally all I have right now. I have no other material. Never use healing potions? Eh, hey, nothing wrong with that. You can use them for uh, selling if that's what you, uh, if you're able to hold on to them enough. Um, they are materia still set. So we're down here to get this uh, item over here. Use them in early levels. Well, at a certain point, anyway, no matter what, you're going to want to stop using regular potions because they're not going to heal enough. Potions, like in Final Fantasy VII, I think regular potions do 100 uh, uh, HP. And once you get to, like, you know, four digits of HP, you know, a, he a potion is going to be a waste of time. Now, obviously, you want, like, things like high potions and, and things like that to be a little bit, you know, more useful. Love that jump animation. Duke? Why are you dressed like that? What are you doing here? Never mind, what happened after the fall? Are you hurt? Slow down, let me answer. I'm dressed like this because there was no other way to get in here. I'm alright, Soraya helped me out. Oh, Soraya did. A fit, what are you doing? Explain what you're doing in a place like this. Yeah, um. <clears throat> I'll just plug my ears. It, and even even with like you know really good healing items like if you like have high potions and whatnot, even at a certain point those are out of date as well. So you're kind of not really forced, but it's wise to be focusing on curing uh, items or curing magic because you, uh, later on or even like even by the mid game things like cure, level two cure cura and curaga are incredibly good. And this one. Uh, with the enemy skill materia, you know, 
White Wind is going to be really good. White Wind does heals uh, does a lot of healing depending on who the caster is, as it, it's based on the HP of the caster. So say you have like a say you, I say I have the White Wind material or I have the enemy skill with White Wind on Cloud and he's got 500 HP. When he casts White Wind, he does 500 healing to everybody and it removes status ailments if I recall correctly. All right, ladies, line up in front of the dot. Mmm, cool, splendid. Now let's see, which girl should I choose? Hmm, hmm. This one? Or this one? Woohoo, I've made up my mind. My choice for tonight is... This little beauty! Fui, be nice, Don. You can have the rest. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Shall we go, my pretty? I don't know how long I've played this game. Yeah, I've decided I think I'm going to make it a once a year thing. At, at the very least, once a year, and uh, play it on the play it in uh, July. And every time I do play it, I'm gonna do something different with it. Like I'm gonna, like in this case, I'm doing this little like uh, not challenge run, but like unique way to play. Uh, you download mods for the PC version. Um, do things like a. Uh, uh, what I call a mystic challenge, where everyone gets like an element, and they have to cast that element only whenever they attack. Like Cloud only gets lightning materia, Tifa only gets fire materia, Eris only gets ice materia, so on and so forth. Final Fantasy VII is always worth a replay, and if you've played Remake and or Rebirth, it will definitely give you a unique perspective on the original. Even though, even if you already, you know, love and know original really well, after playing Remake and Rebirth, it still changes your perspective a little bit um, when you go back to it. Because even I'm like, sort of, when I see certain things in this game, I'm kind of like thinking about Remake and, and what happens in Remake during this type of part of the game, you know? Oh, I hate it, we'll kill all the nostalgia? Nah. Nah, Seven's too good to hate it that much. Would be even, uh, I was, I was actually saying earlier, something that I would really like somebody to do, which I can't see it being that difficult, because of so many mods that have already been made that make such massive changes to the game like this. But, there's, um... You know, like, I'll take like the new threat mod, for example, makes a ton of changes to the game. Somebody should be able to make a mod that allows you to do some of the things in Rebirth in this game. For example, uh, Hell House, the Hell House fight in Remake is a is a boss fight in a tournament that you have in Wall Market. Well, I'd like to see something like that in here. Um, maybe somehow add the, uh, the underground, um, the underground, uh, laboratory where you find those, uh, experimental creatures, um, when you, uh, when you, re when you, uh, uh, after Sector 7 falls, you know, if, uh, under, underneath, uh, Wedge's house. You know, I'd like to maybe go visit that in, in this in this type of game. Skyrim is the king of mods. Well, the, the difference between that and a mod for this is the mods are completely community based and community built, um, and they're not directly supported by the by the game developer itself. Whereas like Fallout, Skyrim, etc. They, they support mods in built into the engine itself. Like, there's actually a mod section in the, uh, uh, in the, in the game itself. Seven doesn't have that. The mods have to be installed manually 
or with a with a third party installer. Although there is a ton of mods for this game. I'd like to find more mods that are similar to like New Threat Mod, which is a complete, no, not, not a complete, but like a large re, uh, uh, retelling of the story. Uh, they change things such as like when you uh, when you go to res when you go to, to Shinra headquarters instead of rescuing Eris from Shinra headquarters you're rescuing Tifa. Um, Sector Seven plate never falls. Uh, you know, they, it makes some pretty significant changes just to kind of give it a fresh perspective on the game. And I kind of like those kind of mods. Mods that make the game just like artificially difficult, not really what I'd like. You know, I think it's just like make it extremely challenging. Not really interested in that. Other than New Threat though, I don't really know of any mods that do that. That's the thing. I don't know a lot of mods that make New Threat kind of changes. The mods that I'm aware of besides like visual mods are just like artificial difficulty mods could try to do a randomizer at some point randomizers might be interesting they're doing the elder Ring dlc again and do all the quests yeah someday i'll get off my lazy fucking ass and uh finish Elden Ring as well. I just need to finish Elden Ring Vanilla. I haven't done, uh, I've not done the, uh, I haven't even got the DLC. Too. Don't have any materia. Four hundred hours of game. I can believe it. I can believe it. Cloud is going to get the steel material here because he's going to have the highest level. Um, which the steel material is based on level more than anything else. It's your level base uh, compared to the enemy's level. So Cloud is going to have the highest level. He gets the steel material, which we're going to need. It's going to be it's going to be a very important material. That or Jedi Survivor. I need to get that as well. I need to get Jedi Survivor as well. I did enjoy uh, Fallen Order. Uh, okay, he has lightning, she has ice. Yeah, she can't do anything, she can just attack right now, because I don't have another material that attacks at all. Boss time! Nice. Hyper. Nope. I, it's 
Oh, my god. Heh, <laughs> cloud is 69 HP. Uh, it's, it's a vanilla run. I'm playing this on the, uh, uh, on the PlayStation, so I can't mod it. This is an unmodded version. This is OG as OG can get. Only difference being that I'm playing it without using sto without uh, using stores. Or you, uh, yeah, using shops. Get the shit out of him, Tifa. Very hard to try Final Fantasy always calls you back. Eh, it's not really trying hard to avoid it. I just have so many other games in my backlog that I want to play, but Final Fantasy VII, for sure, there's going to be, I can guarantee 7 and 10, maybe 8 sometimes, but 7 and 10 for sure, I'm going to be revisiting quite a lot. Not, not often, but a lot. I, there will never be a time where I'm like, okay, this will be the last time I ever play Final Fantasy VII. Or Final Fantasy X. I just like doing like unique runs of uh, of games, especially ones like this that I know really well that I can do that will make it different than a previous playthrough. I guess I'll have to go on uh, Tifa because nobody else in space. I don't want to waste the all slot that I have. We can start a ten run. Should. Steel is going to be very important. We're going to be stealing every battle. Every battle we're going to be doing stealing. You beat 10 2? I did 10 2 rather recently. Kill him. I meant Eris. Don't kill him, Eris, but he did what you did anyway. It's alright. For me, at least once I found out it was that Titus wasn't real and shit, I was just like, meh. And everybody sees the games in different ways. I mean, it took me a long time just to kind of figure out uh, Ten's world anyway. So a lot of it didn't make sense, but that's kind of a common thing for Final Fantasy games. I don't think I've ever played a Final Fantasy game where I've understood everything my first time through it. It's usually taken either a couple of tries or like having to watch a video of some kind to understand the story. There's usually always a question. I usually always have some kind of questions. You're really... 10 is actually kind of easy to understand until you get to uh, until you get to the uh, waterfall where you see all those fates. Then in the story it really goes on its head. Well, they've said it before. I mean, they, they just the, the thing about Genova being an alien is they just don't straight up say the word alien. That's the thing what's throwing everybody off. Is they never say that alien is a, or an alien. That Genova is an alien or an extraterrestrial. They say things like a calamity from the skies. Um, uh, a, a creature from the stars or something to that effect. You know, They never actually say the words alien or extraterrestrial because... It makes Genova have a different perspective. If you don't say alien or e extraterrestrial, it, it, I don't know, it's just like, do they call her a celestial being? I mean, I think the closest thing they say is like calamity from the stars. 
and that's our calamity from the sky which you know in a literal translation yeah that means alien but they don't directly just straight up say alien which I think is a unique way to do it I can't uh, heal up with with uh, tents because I ain't got no tents It changed a lot of my head what Thought Seven Five Nine Seven was. I mean, they 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 deliberately throw you off to begin with because the game starts, or when you first hear about Genova and all this stuff, they start by talking about uh, how oh a high potion that was actually good. Uh, they talk about how Genova is an ancient, which the ancients were a, uh, a an ancient race of humans that existed, you know. Uh, millennia earlier but that's not the case Geno uh, Genova and Sephiroth are not an ancient they are Genova is, a, is not from Earth or not from Gaia since the planet's called Gaia did they say with the remake this is the true story of Seven remake is um Remake is a, is actually a sequel. Oh shit! I just uh, remake is a sequel. 100% a sequel to OG Seven because it's represented in such a way because of the the fact that Sephiroth and Aerith both seem to know what's going on in uh, in the world. At least in the at least in remake, rebirth not so much. Did he? Did she actually steal something? Also, hi, Mikey. Yeah, you and uh, you and uh, Jody are the same color, so I didn't notice the. <laughs> I didn't notice that it was actually you talking. I didn't mean to ignore you. Speaking of my place, you anything about Final Fantasy? Yeah, if there's one thing that I uh, I am, it's a it's a story, it's a, a story lore whore. That's right. You call I just call myself a lore whore. I don't think it's steal, so I so I killed it. I don't know why I used ice again. I I I, I revel in stories. So great, grateful that uh, he's going after Tifa over and over again. Why are you telling her to steal? Yeah, we yeah, Mikey and I met in uh in on in uh Koopo uh, Nutter's stream back in twenty twenty. Okay, yeah, we need heals here because that was painful. I got twelve potions, I can blow a few. Yeah, Mikey Highwind, aka Joy Boy Highwind. Which, by the way, since you're here, I should properly... Almost did it again. Shout out to Mikey Highwind. <laughs> there we go. Dungeonborn. What is Dungeonborn? And how are you liking that uh, never, what was it called, never, never glade or something? All right, we already know about the. You know, I didn't. I don't really see what item we got from this guy. Keep on each steal again, so I know what you got. I don't remember what it was she stole. Dungeon Board just came out as an easier, faster pace, darker and darker, and it's free to play. Oh, interesting.
Uh, I did make a couple of uh, game uh, purchases today uh, for future streams. Uh, one is a uh, submarine, submarine simulator called De uh, Silent Depth 2. I was talking about this with you guys uh, at Ether. Okay, that's not a bad thing. Uh, I was talking with you, to you guys about this uh, like earlier this week. But the other one, which I know you guys will really enjoy, at least I'm pretty sure you will, um, I got uh, Black Mesa, which is the essentially HD remake, if you will, or HD remastering of Half-Life 1. So, that's, a, uh, that's in the near future. Black Mesa. Which I have never played any of the... I, actually, that's not true. Uh, I have played the uh, the first Half-Life game, but it was so long ago, I don't remember Jack did the squat. I, I played very little of it. So a ghost hand. I wonder what that does. I may do something important. I'm just steal more. Drains MP. Okay, that's what that is for. I mean, it's not a terrible thing, but... I should give it... Shit. Should have had the uh, cloud or Paris use one of those because they need the MP. <laughs> this is another thing. This is another area that I wish they would, that, that somebody would mod. Oh, nice plus life. That they would uh, mod in is I'd like to see them mod in the. Uh, the, 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 this area of the train graveyard where you go up to that upper building and fight the uh, the like big ghost I can see them you know mod this for that and that add that kind of mod to it I also, uh, I also got a uh, subscription to, uh, Amazon Prime, so now I can, I can freely sub to people as I choose, and also, which is more importantly to me, um, Amazon Games releases a free game every month, and I've already got, uh, a... Game has just got a third version of it. Uh, Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Uh, I got a I got a copy of and uh, Knights of the Round. Uh, Knights of the Round. Jesus fuck me. Um, uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic. Not the not the MMO Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic. So again, more games that are in the pipeline for future streams. Come on, I need an Elegor. I need an Elegor. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. They take a minute. You got this. Lift up your shirt. It'll probably stun him, stun him long enough for you to steal it.
No, 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 don't put her to sleep. No, 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 no. Wake up, Chiefs. Took away 20 some odd MP and only got three back. What the? What? What is that bullshit all about? Striking staff. Nice. Alright, that means we can actually remove this materia, put it on her. Lightning all. Steel can go to cloud, she can take ice. Potion. Sure wish I had some tents to uh, use the save point coming up. I know who you are, Mikey. <laughs> I think uh, Jody was surprised that right? he's not used to your new name. Standing. Wait, there's something above us? Gunfire. Help. Uh, I am the dad. 
I'm going up. Surveya, you look after Wedge. Surveya, do me a favor. I have a bar called Seventh Heaven in this neighborhood. There's a little girl named Marlene there. Don't worry, I'll put her somewhere safe. It's dangerous here! Everyone get away from the pillar, quickly! Everyone get out of Sector 7! Equipped uh, Aerith's armor. Dog Garnet. Sorry. Did you give her material? We did. Okay. All the more reason I wish I'd taken her armor off. Crap. Because we're not going to see her again until we get rescue her from Shinra Tower. Ah, oh, fuck. I really could use that Titan Mangle. Damn it. I should have thought of that in advance. Okay. Well, I at least gonna look, keep lightning on me. Ice isn't as useful as restore. Restore is needed. Someday, Mikey, I'm going to do a, uh, uh, a platinum run of this game. Uh, it's going to be like a only a semi-platinum run because I've already got some of the trophies on the PlayStation for this. But there's a bunch that I haven't done, so I figured I could someday get my first platinum trophy and this would be a perfect game to get it with. Actually, let me try stealing from these guys first. Potion. Okay, useless. I mean, not entirely useless, but somewhat useless. so hard to steal. Nothing to steal. Oh, this was except for the first time. I didn't even notice. Cross slash. Good fact. Wonder if uh, Reno has anything on him to steal. I don't know if I've ever tried stealing from him in this uh, this particular version, or like this fight. I mean. I fit dual you came. Be careful, they're attacking from the helicopter. Better equip ourselves before they attack in full force. Uh, I don't think I can do, really. Uh, ice. All. That's pretty much all I can do.
I think we're good. Here they come. You're too late. Once I push this button, that's all, folks. Mission accomplished. We need to disarm it. Duo Terra, please! I can't have you do that. No one get in the way of Reno and the Turks. Because we don't use proper language. We don't use proper grammar around here. We doesn't use proper grammar around here. No one get in the way of Reno and the Turks. Got the MS. Please don't pyramid cloud. I need him to steal first. Okay, good. Nothing to steal. What the crap? What the crap and shit? So good. Don't have any grenades. Probably should have saved one of them for that fight from before. Lucky with the magic not stunning cloud or the uh, electromagnetic rod not stunning cloud. All right, got it. Macy didn't have anything on him to steal, like literally nothing. Yo, look, I don't know how to stop this. Try it. It's not a normal time bomb. That's right. You'll have a hard time disarming that one. It'll blow the second some stupid jerk touches it. Please, stop it! Ha ha ha! Only a Shinra executive can set up or disarm the emergency plate release system. Or the ERPs. Or the EPERS. The EPERS. Shut your hole! But apparently Barrett somehow does not hit the broad side of a stationary helicopter. I wouldn't try that. You might just make me injure our special guest. Soraya! Oh, you know each other. How nice you could see each other one last time. You should thank me. What are you going to do with Soraya? I haven't decided. Our orders were to find and catch the last remaining ancient. It has taken us a long time, but now I can finally report this to the president. Effie, don't worry, she's all right. Bitch slap! Zaraya! Hurry and get out! 
<laughs> well, it should be starting right about now. Think you can escape in time? Get out. Dun da 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 Everybody dies. It's interesting how we can actually revisit Sector 7 in Remake. Even though there's like, you know, a giant pillar just collapsed on top of it. I guess in, in the Remake, it, like, it didn't all fall down in one giant piece like it did here. It like fell apart in like pieces. Which is why, you know, there was still traversable parts of the land. I do love how in the remake, this slide here had the exact same three uh, metal bars protruding from it. Or metal, like, you know, slats or whatever it's supposed to be. Wiggs! Wedge! Jesse! God damn it! Damn it! Damn it all! What the hell's it all for? Arg! Hey, Tareb! Tareb! Uh... Hey! Tareb, stop! Please stop, Tareb! Arg! safe. Huh? Right before they took Soraya, she said, don't worry, she's alright. She was probably talking about Marlene. R really? But Biggs, Wedge, Jesse, all three of them were in the pillar. Think I don't know that. But we, all of us fought together. I don't want to think of them as dead. And the other people in Sector 7. This is all screwed up. They destroyed the entire village just to get to us. They killed so many people. Are you saying it's our fault? Because Avalanche was here? Innocent people lost their lives because of us? No, Feet. That ain't it. Hell no. It ain't us. It's the damn Shinra. It never been nobody but the Shinra. They're evil and destroying our planet just to build their power and line their own damn pockets with gold. If they don't, if we don't get rid of them, they're gonna kill this planet. Our fight ain't never gonna be over till we get rid of them. I don't know. What don't you know? You don't believe me? It's not that. I'm not sure about me, my feelings. And what about you? Hmm. Yo! Where does he think he's going? Oh, Soraya. What about, yeah, yeah, that girl. What's up with her? I don't really know, but she's the one I left Marlene with. Damn, Marlene! Feet, there ain't no turning back now. Yet she turns back one more time. Duok! Take me to Marlene. 
You're going to help Surveya? Yeah, but before that, there's something I want to know. What's that? It's about the ancients. In my veins courses the blood of the ancients. I am one of the rightful heirs to this planet. Sephiroth? Uh, are you alright? Pull well, together, man! I gotta grab that materia. The sense materia, so not really useful, but good to have. I don't really know why, but it's good to have. I'd rather have it. <laughs> Hell House? Nope, not Hell House. I wonder if you can steal from the Hell House. I wonder. First, we're gonna steal from these guys. Can steal anything here. Keep trying there, Cloud. Somersault game, nice. Tifa's uh, next level one window break. Oh, Hell House, here we go. Let's try to see what this big thing. Nothing to steal. God damn it. It's a, it's a giant house. I don't know anything to steal from it. Killed it before it transformed. The Hell House! I don't know, I got 16 on PC. I still can't wait to play Final Fantasy 16, period. <laughs> I wonder if it's uh, going to go down in price anytime soon. I should put it on. A, I should have put it on my wish list. I think I've seen these guys that can use the items. Ragnarok as well. I haven't, I haven't played Ragnarok. I just remember. They have a release date for PC for those two? There's no 
in here, right? I don't think there's an in here. Give me that, uh, turbo region. Thank you. Items here already. All right, story time. Popcorn and snacks. Pull them out. Do elk, wasn't it? It's about Soraya, isn't it? Sorry, the Shinra have her. I know. They took her from here. They were here. That's what Soraya wanted. Why is Shinra after Soraya? Soraya is an ancient, the sole survivor. What'd you say? But aren't you her mother? Not her real mother. It must have been 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front. Some faraway place called Wutai. One day I went to the station, because I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. My husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. No, I'm sure his leave was just cancelled. I went to the station every day. Then, one day... sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were, please take Soraya somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child. I was lonely. So I decided to take her home with me. Soraya and I became close very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. She told me how she escaped from some kind of research laboratory, that her mother had already returned to the planet, that she wasn't lonely, many other things. Returned to the planet? I didn't know what she meant. I asked if she meant a star in the sky, but she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. I really like that transition, where you hear, when you have Eris call out for, for uh, Elvira, Elmira, and then the camera pans up, Cloud Tifa and Eris vanish from, the, or Cloud Tifa and Barrett vanish from the screen, and then it pans back down. That, that, that's really, it's a nice little, neat little transition. That was really uh, clever there. Please don't cry. Saran just blurted that out all of a sudden. When I asked her if something happened, someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming to see you, but he's already returned to the planet. At that time, I didn't believe her. But, several days later, you received a notice saying my husband died. And that was it. A lot had happened, but we were happy. Until one day... We want you to return Soraya to us. We've been searching for her for a long time. No, never! Soraya, you are a, spe a very special child. You are of special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. 
that moment I found out she was an ancient. The ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Soraya will be able to bring happiness to all those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Soraya's cooperation. He's wrong! I'm not an ancient! I'm not! But Soraya, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone. No, I don't! But I knew. I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as though I never noticed. It's amazing how she's avoided the Shinra for all these years. The Shinra need her, so I guess they wouldn't harm her. But why now? She brought a little girl here with her. Song found them on their way here. She probably wasn't fast enough to get away. She decided to go to the Shinra in exchange for the little girl's safety. Marlene. Marlene? Soraya was, Soraya was caught because of Marlene? I'm sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm really sorry. You're her father? How in the world could you ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that. I'm always thinking about what might happen to Marlene if I... But you, don't, but you gotta understand something. I don't got any answers. I want to be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't, the planet's gonna die. So I'm gonna keep fighting. But inside, I'm always thinking of her. I just want to be with her, always. See, I'm going in circles now. I think I know what you mean. She's upstairs asleep. Why don't you go and see her? Wait. Shit. Should have gone to the bed and slept. Damn it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're alright. Danny, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. Duok. You're gonna help you're gonna go help Soraya, right? She's done so much for me. If Shinra are involved, I ain't staying here. I'm coming too. Guess what? Guess what? Soraya asked me lots of questions. Like what kind of person Duok is. I bet she likes you, Duok. I don't know. Dummy. That'll restore my HP and MP, right? Because I need it. I don't have tents anymore. I don't know if I can even... I don't even know if you can steal tents in this game. You're going after Surveyor, right? Yeah. I'm coming with you. We're going right into Shinra headquarters. You gotta be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I feel like I have to push myself to the limit. If I stayed here, I'd go crazy. Sorry, but can you take care of Marlene a bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. You better go somewhere else. You're right, but promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. How do we get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Hmm. Well, let's go to Wall Market. We might be able to find something there. Alright. Full HP, full MP. Pretty good uh, numbers so far. We've, done, we've gotten to, we've gotten to, through two, uh, two and a half hours, well, two hours and forty minutes. Uh, without, uh, without really any issues, despite the fact we are, uh, you know, lacking in items, like severely lacking in items. Uh, as well as gear and especially materia. So, I'm proud of my progress so far. Is that, this this uh, uh, live off the land run so far is actually a tad more challenging than I expected it to be. I never realized just how much I do depend on uh, uh, on shops. Alright, we are saved up, and we will return to this probably tomorrow. Um, get a little bit of a heads up. Uh, normally I stream at noon central, but uh, I do. Uh, there's a good chance I gotta go into work tomorrow because uh, 
you know, since the hurricane came through, the power at the mail facility that delivers the mail to where I work, which is, we process a lot of work, a lot of mail where I work. Um, well, we haven't gotten a lot of mail from them because the, the power is out at the facility. So, um, they, uh, my job, my management believes the power has been mostly restored now, uh, to the mail site. So we should be getting an influx of mail. Um, so short story is they're going to contact me, uh, tomorrow morning before I head into work and let me know if I need to come in or not. Uh, and if I do, then I'll be late starting the stream tomorrow. I'll probably like closer to maybe like one o'clock, maybe two, something like that. Uh, if I get lucky and I don't need to go in tomorrow, then tomorrow will be my normal stream schedule starting at noon central. Um, but either way, I will see you all tomorrow sometime in the afternoon, I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, likely going to continue our run of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, as always, a special appreciation goes up to the men and women of the United States military, both at home and overseas, as well as police officers and firefighters across the country. Thank you for your service and sacrifice. You're all true heroes. Um, let's see. Mm. How about a raid of Me Shark, who is playing Final Fantasy 14. So let's do this. I think it's I think his name is spelled with two K's. It is. Okay. So we're gonna raid Shark. Let him know that I sent you with a hashtag commander raid. And as I said, I'll see you all tomorrow afternoon. Until then, have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.